Virginia Franklin entered Miss America competitions to help pay for college. She wound up winning a scholarship and so much more. And now she's using her platform to change the lives of people all around her, which is something that she's been doing long before she wore the crown. In college, Nia Franklin became her father's stem cell donor after he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. When Nia entered the Miss America pageant to help pay for her education, the competition became so much more than just scholarship money. Last September, Nia was crowned Miss America 2019. She's the ninth black woman who has received this title in the pageant's 92-year history. Nia Franklin is here with us now. We're so glad to have you here in studio with us. Thank it's you. It's great. You are right kind of in the middle of your year. How's it going so far? <laughs> it's going well, and it's funny that you mentioned we're in the middle because it would be over in only three weeks yes. normally. Yes. But um, I'm so blessed to have like a four-month four extension That's right. on the year, so That's I'm really right. excited. Because we're used to seeing it happen in September, but it'll actually be in December, and we'll give you all the dates of that <laughs> in a little bit. But let's go back a little bit, Nia, and talk about your life, you were a college freshman when your dad had this devastating diagnosis. What was that like? It's just, there's no words to explain how devastating it was. I can try my best. It, it was a shock for one. I was away three hours in Greenville, North Carolina. I'm, my hometown is Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And my mom wasn't telling me too much. I think she didn't want me to worry. Mm -hmm. But by the time I was home for Thanksgiving, I was told to go to the hospital. My dad was intensive care. Wow. And I just remember his body was so swollen because his kidneys had started oh. to fail. And he looked like a completely different person. I almost could not recognize him. And I just remember crying. And my grandmother was in the room, his, his mother. And I just, just broke Lost down crying yeah. because I didn't expect to be walking into seeing him like that. And I had no idea what was going on. So how did the whole stem cell event take place? Yeah, so after about two years of him battling the disease, non-Hodgkin's T-cell lymphoma, he relapsed twice wow. after we thought he was getting better that summer I was home from my uh, freshman year and I thought he was getting better. He was in physical therapy. I go back to school and right around the same time that he was starting to feel ill that first year I was a freshman, right around that time in my sophomore year, wow. same thing happened again. And so by the spring, after trying radiation and chemotherapy, they decided the best plan would be to do a stem cell transplant. And so they, they looked into the general pool and there were no matches there. And then they looked to his siblings. The only match was his sister. And she's a little older than me, and they decided to check his, his children out. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened that uh, I was a match, wow. and I was of the age requirement. My younger brother and sister were not 18 yet, and you have wow. to be 18 to do this procedure. And so it just was, it was a miracle that I was a match. And we did the transplant on May 1st of 2013. Amazing. And six years later, he is doing amazing. He is not fully made a recovery yet. He is still a little stiff and things like that, but he's working full time now and we're just so grateful. How wonderful, how wonderful. You mentioned the, it, it being a miracle. Share with us a little bit your faith and how it played a role for you yeah. as you walk through all of this. Yeah, well, I, I, I just remember being a little bit in in shock and a little bit in denial about what was going on. I didn't want to believe that my dad was suffering this this really deadly disease that yes. was so rare. We didn't know what was going on. And I just remember um, starting to go to, I didn't go to church that much my freshman year, actually. I would, I would watch church on TV and that sort of thing. But one of my friends was going to a church uh, called at night in Greenville, North Carolina. And that was right around my sophomore year, right before the transplant that I, that I was even knowing that I was going to do this for my dad. And I just remember going to Ignite where Pastor Jason is just so wonderful and so full of hope and being a part of a community where I just felt at home. I remember they served Krispy Kreme donuts in the mornings. <laughs> What's <laughs> so, not to like, right? <laughs> so maybe that's also what kept me coming back. <laughs> but it was just a place of worship. They have yes. such a great worship atmosphere. And I felt like I could release some of the frustration and anger 
and it gave me a more open communication to God and, and truly going to church as well as keeping up with scriptures and devotionals was, was great too, but there was nothing like having a church family around me. And one of my friends who was first runner up to Miss North Carolina this year was the one, the woman who brought me into that community. Wow. So how did you go from all of that into the Miss America organization? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so funny. I, I would see my friend, Jaren A, competing for locals when I was in college and I would go support her, but I never thought I was going to do it. <laughs> and so my, my, uh, first year in grad school, uh, I had some friends that were telling me, you know, I'm friends with the former Miss North Carolina and she thinks you can do it. And that kind of just gave me that extra confidence because my mom was the telling me. The gauntlet was thrown down. Well, right? my mom would always tell me to do them and she thought that I could do them, but it's my mom, you know, she's yeah. always going to be like, you're great. You can do that. You can do this. But my, it was having another perspective that, that gave me a little bit of confidence and support yeah. to try it. And with my dad being sick, he was uh, the primary, my mom's a school teacher, so we all know, you know, school teachers make what they make. But my father was the primary breadwinner. He was a okay. pharmaceutical rep. And so I was kind of depending on him to help me pay for school. <laughs> and whenever he was sick, <laughs> he didn't have that, that income anymore. And so that was ultimately why I was like, I'm going to try to do this because if I win Miss America one day, that will help me get out of debt. And it was a long shot, like just thinking about what if that really happens. So three years later, the fact that it really happened was just mind blowing. So, you know, a lot of people see the pageant on TV and they see the crowning and they, you know, they watch the kind of glam of it all. It's really a tremendous opportunity for a young woman. It's, it's maybe one of the most intense public relations jobs you'd mm. ever have in your life. What has this year done for you, do you think? Oh, my gosh. I don't even think I can... It's kind of like the scripture, ears have not seen and eyes have not heard. I, I, I really just think there's so many big things that are going to come out mm -hmm. of this for me. Yeah. I'm working towards them now, laying the groundwork. I think it's so important when you have this position not to wait until, in my case, December 20th yes. to start reaching out to all these yes. people and making contacts and getting meetings. I'm having meetings now and I'm... I'm I have a lot of different options and I'm not sure what God has in store, uh, but I'm just going to continue to make myself available for all the different opportunities and see what I think the best, the best opportunity is when it comes time to choose and when my year is really over. So December 29th is December 19th. 19th is the new date. And yeah. there's also a new venue. It's in Connecticut. It'll be at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. And where is that? Is in it's, Connecticut. I'm not sure the exact city. Okay. I'm not sure, but it's it's not in. There'll be lots of promotion, I know, yes, for absolutely. it. And a new network this year as well. And so lots for people to look forward to. Life changing. It's so wonderful to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing your story. Thank we you. We really so appreciate it.